Welcome back to It's M. Jeannie, the Submissive Wife. I am M. Jeannie. Today we're going to be talking about being submissive. And I know, I know, a lot of y'all is like, submitting to who? <laughs> and that's okay because look, come here, come here. Being submissive is very beneficial. Check it out. Okay, so we're talking about being submissive. I am my master's servant. I serve my master. I do everything he asks of me, everything he wants of me, because you know why? I trust him. I believe in him. I believe in his results because trust me, I know what kind of man I chose. I believe in his results. I believe in his actions because I know it's gonna bring great results. A lot of women is like, okay, so you don't have a mind of your own, you don't have opinions, you don't have no say so, you don't you don't have no input. And the thing is, of course, of course I do, but I've learned that women are emotional and men are logical. Women cannot be choosing on nothing if they are in a emotional state. It's a no. It's a no. Now men, they are very logical. And look, my husband had to hit me in the head with that one. Like, we are emotional. We will choose some stuff that we don't even need to be choosing while we are emotional. So with a man, of course, of course I'm gonna trust him because I know he gonna know, he gonna know something more than me. He gonna know he on a logical level. Like he knows. And if it's bringing results, what are you mad for? So you're going to argue with the results? Great results? You're going to argue with that? So all of this comes back to you. It all comes back to you and who you choose for yourself and what kind of person you are. It all comes back to you. Who are you? Who are you? And what kind of person have you chosen? All men cannot be leaders. And all women are not submissive. Some women get in relationships and, you know, they choose a man that's not a leader. And it forces them to subtract their feminine energy and, and you know, bring forth their masculine energy because... They have to step in and, and, and take care of the family and do what's best for the family because that man that they chose is not doing it. We still in the same place. We're still here. Why are we not going up? What's the problem? So the senses kick in for the woman like, hold up. Hold on. Hold up. I need to get some stuff together because your results not coming in. Where your results? Just like the star test. What results? Did you pass? What? What is the results? When a man is not doing the things that he's supposed to be doing in a relationship, it forces the woman to take the leadership role because a woman wants to see results. And if she don't see it, she got to do it for herself. So that's why I say it all comes back to you and who you chose and the person that you are. Being submissive it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. When you see results, that's rewarding. Good results, great results, that's rewarding. The house that I'm in, rewarding. Because I know my man worked so hard for it, and I put all my trust in him. And that's how we got where we are today. 
because of me in my submissive ways and because of him in his leadership ways, we, we come together like this. And it only works that way. You cannot have two leaders trying to lead two leaders. Like, <laughs> it's not going to work. Y'all going to be head to head all the time. Now, being submissive is very beneficial. It's very rewarding, especially for him and you. When he sees that you are being submitted to him, when he sees that you are you are trusting in him, trusting in his guidance, trusting in his wording, trusting in his, you know, his energy, knowing that he will get things done. It boosts his confidence. It boosts his testosterone. He's like, damn, I got this fine woman believing in me, trusting in me, doing what I say, knowing that I will make everything great again <laughs> it boosts him it makes him want to go higher for himself and for you it makes him want to see great things it makes him like damn what else can i do to to, to bring the party what else can i do he has no other choice he has no other choice but to go higher and higher and higher and higher. So that is why you need to practice attracting good things in your life. See what you want, know what you want, create what you want. Because if you choose, come out here and choose one of these, these bummers to be a leader, you might as well go ahead and lay down in the hell hole. You might as well. Because you will not get anywhere. Unless you want to be the leader and the, you know, the masculine one in the, in the house wearing the pants. That's what they say, wearing the pants. <laughs> if that's you and you want to be that, then do that. But I'm talking about being submissive to a leader, to a master, a master teacher. So, I just came on here to spill little tips, little tea about what submissive can really do being submissive can really do for your life it's very rewarding and i i'm i'm still learning myself i'm still i'm on a journey but look i'm not going back i'm going forward i'm not going back because i know what i have and i have a leader and i know what i chose i chose a leader i chose a master I chose someone that is really go put forth the work that's really working for his family, working for himself, making, making himself better as a leader, as a husband, as a master. And I know. So there you go, girl. Let's, let's work on this together.